Hi, uh, welcome to the program for the gifted students in Agent Plus 3. Uh, I'm, I'm Joseph in Dago University in South Korea. Uh, I'm so happy to say, say hello to all of you in the world. Let me introduce quite a simple but interesting phenomenon to all of you. Many things in the world are so regular. For example, uh, your parents prepare a meal for you every morning and the sun goes up in the morning and goes down in the evening. And every verse keeps the time, like a train, airplane, uh, and so on. In nature, all around us, there are so many phenomena are showing us regularity. For example, the, the sun uh, round the earth just for one day and the moon the rounds for a month. And like uh, many uh, planet, planets or like stars that regularly rotate. Uh, such regular motions are so important to science because uh, the, the distance for time. The time. Actually, the regularity is counted as something is regular in the specific period. So without time, uh, we can get nothing. Okay, assume that you are the doing some experiment. And you cannot count or measure any kind of time. You have nothing to measure time. So maybe you are, you will be panic. You will be in panic. So the concept is time is really important, but it is also miraculous, and it differs according to the motion, as Einstein said. The theory of relativity. It seems to us that every clock and every time is the same, but. It differs, it, it varies according to its motion. By the way, how can we measure the time? Maybe stopwatch or like a clock, a wristwatch or, or smartphone or some like a precise instrument in the laboratory. So in fact, uh, we have a very short time to measure like a short period of time, like a millisecond or nanosecond or, or just a few seconds. The basic concept of measuring is related to regularity, the regular motion in nature. So I bring a quite a simple apparatus to you. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is really simple. Maybe you can make your own uh, the parties like this in your home. You just prepare like uh, several things, a thread and some something heavy and rulers. Maybe you can have, if you have wrong, long rulers, uh, it is very beneficial to you or like a something to measure angle. So this shows uh, quite a simple and regular motion. Okay, let me show you. Are you ready? Okay, I am not ready. <laughs> oh! Okay. It goes back and forth continuously. Uh, intriguing is that the, the period of time, the, the taking from here, go and back is regular. So we call it period. And this is called the pendulum. It, it is composed of a, a simple thread or bar and something is heavy in the end. So maybe uh, you can adjust the time, the, the period, uh, like uh, by changing the thread or 
changing other parameters. So our quest, our request is to make your own pendulum to measure specific time. For example, just one second. So are you ready? Uh, we are going to give you some guidelines to make your own pendulum and you can find out many interesting things and uh, maybe you can find you can understand maybe you have a chance to understand how it works and what is the problematic situations in doing such a per, such an experiment i hope uh, you will enjoy your works at home or at schools and i'm looking forward to seeing all of you uh, in the camp in the winter so have a nice day and free, feel free to ask any questions or comments. Bye. Hello, I'm Minbek from Inai University. As uh, Professor Joseph explained about the, uh, the topic of uh, our camp, so I'm going to explain the uh, three tips for your uh, movie report, all right? So we encourage you to put the, uh, the first uh, materials and shapes of your pendulum all right let's say we use the uh, stone shape of rectangle or let's say uh, we use the, uh, the the ball made of iron okay such kind of things and then the second one is uh, tools what you used for this experiment okay so for example I, we use the uh, stopwatch to measure the uh, period and also we use the uh, let's say the plastic the ruler which has uh, millimeter uh, accuracies so such kind of thing okay and then uh, the second one is detail of the measurement process how you measure the, uh, the exact the period of your pendulum using a stopwatch or what kind of method that you used for this the measurement that's kind of thing okay and then uh, lastly the numbers you increase it to give us uh, the exact numbers of your your pendulum's period such as uh, i could say uh, we used we got the 1.1 uh, second for our pendulum and we how how we measured it you can include it in like a section three all right so such kind of thing should be uh, enough for the uh, your movie report, and you can also include some creative things or or other discussions in your report, right? And don't forget the uh, short introduction of your team. Okay, I can't wait to see you guys in a uh, ASEAN three meetings. So until then, stay well. Bye.